All right, so let's just say that I already recorded this bit um, quite a lot, actually. But for some reason, my um, sound didn't record. So I'm just going to do everything again. Yep. <laughs> I'm also a little sick, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little strange this time. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk. So you're a trained surgeon? Good. This is good. Shame that your esteemed degree is of no help to me. Why is that? The kin has not accepted you yet. You are Barak's son, but sharing blood is not enough. Supposedly you are a Manku by birth, but in truth you aren't. You went away to study who knows where, leaving your people behind. Old folk don't appreciate that. Will the kin accept you at all? Amenku, does this word mean anything to any of you still? I'm not a stepman, but I do know that among your lot, only menkus can become butchers, wise men or surgeons, because they know the lines. Is that what you call it? The art of understanding the world? The lines? Really? You do look like a step person. Who are you then? I'm Var. I have a uh, business, an unusual one. Your father used to deliver certain goods to me. Now I came to ask bad grief. He's a bandit after all, a law unto himself. But turns out he's still lily livered to cross this particular boundary. What kind of business? I buy blood and organs, body components human components. What for? You're no Menku. You wouldn't understand. Forget it. Show me where you live. I want to talk to you about the kin some more. I've broken a step taboo. I have cut a body open. This town does not provide the best working environment for a surgeon. This var claims to have done business with my father. He buys organs. I'm no Manku. The local tradition does not allow me to cut bodies open. It's right here. So let's go see the bizarre creature captured at the Bone Steak Lot. Okay, how's my inventory? Still good, still good. Oh god. It was an accident, I swear. She was trying to get out, not fall down. She held so tight. Out? Why not use the gate then? The termitary got locked in, didn't you know? Olgimski's orders. Rumor has it the workers were on strike. Still, why not use the window on the lower floor? That's because the workers are on edge. They're step people, not animals. They also have feelings. They too want to live. But it gets worse but it gets worse for them by the year. <clears throat> worse? People are like sunflower seeds to Big Vlad. He extracts their lifeblood like oil. They've had enough. They've had it with working both day and night shift so often. So he locked them in to keep it contained, to protect the town. Or we'd have a riot. A third of the town works for the Bull Enterprise. Are they all inside? Like beasts in a cage. It doesn't bode well. <coughs> Look, that's him. Are you good? Oh god. That scared me.
God, yikes. <coughs> Her scream, the poor thing. It must have hurt terribly. Could she... Could she have been a person? Clay doesn't scream. Who was that? Who was burned? Hell if I know. They think it was a clay wench. The one who killed the old man. But I guess it wasn't. Oh, poor sinners. You're crazy. Whoa, that's a big... That's some big roots. Should I pour blood? I don't have space in my inventory though, for more herbs. No. Okay, now to father's house. How? Why? Oh, curse this air, this mind-numbing odor. What do we do now? Did you do this? No, it was a twire adult mob. The step is in bloom and people get crazed. But never before was it this bad. Why a step girl? Old wives' tales. They claim a golem sometimes emerges from the ground. It looks like a woman, but it's all earth, clay, rock and marrow. The story claims it has legs of bone and this uncanny way of walking. And the brides, you know they have a special walk too. Not a walk, a dance. In the morning people screamed about a step abomination, that it left no footprints and had bones for legs. But now look, it's only a girl, a step girl, sure, but alive. How will you live with this now? Us? It wasn't us who did this unspeakable thing. We'd like to find the scum who did it and lay them down next to the poor girl. How long have people been this crazed? Have you been listening, lad? I'm telling you, this is the first time. The world must be coming to an end. Indeed. father's house. There. Locked and shut. Locked shut. Won't let anyone in. Not that I object. There must be order. And so, it was ordered. Our house was locked? Who ordered that? Sabarov, of course. The governor. I see. So the house is off limits. So you're Barak's son, then, the one who left town so long ago. You missed him by hours. Guess it wasn't in the cards. Couldn't you have gotten here, say, yesterday? Everything would be different then. And he waited for you so eagerly. And yet, I've returned. The crowd's gone mad, like frightened children. So eager to catch someone, anyone, and no idea who. Some say it was an outsider. Others, a shabnak. When it hits home, people are, are quick to drag the clay wench from the depths of memory. Why an outsider? Who else? And a shabnak? Honestly, you're hardly better than a pack of children. A shabnak a deer, a thing of step legends. Yes, I know about it. Well, maybe the killer was a shabnak. Who else? A person couldn't have done it. You think so? Isidore was a man. Men must not kill men, and so men do not kill men. At least not in this town they don't. Obviously they do now. Sticky boy! Have you seen a pale, glimmering man walking around at night? Nope. Why are you covered in blood? I fell down the stairs. You're an outsider. I've never seen you before, and I know everyone. I'm from here, but I've been away for a while. You do look like the old man. You could be his son. I am his son. What I want to know is why are you covered in blood? It's none of your business. Whatever. 
but I'll remember you. Likewise, nice meeting you. Oh, the people I know. I really love the nerves bit. <laughs> people that get on my nerves. Oh, I can still talk to them. Oh, but of course he wasn't killed. People are mad with grief, so they parrot nonsense. And Sabarov, he's only too happy to prey on these rumors. He'll dig his claws deep into this case to flaunt his value, mark my words. Sabarov, so he's in charge now. Well, yes and no. The real ruler is Fat Vlad, money's power, and the town's business all belong to Olgimsky. The factory, the abattoir, the railroad, all his. The kind still have the power of fear. And Sabarov, well, he's technically the leader of the three, but only technically. Where's my father's body? No clue. People used to bring the dead to your father. Now, you know, a doctor. How will we, ne how will we live now? No idea. Unbelievable. The war, the train delayed. What a terrible year. Do you even have a place to stay now? Yes, I have friends in town. Three at least. They'll help me. Do you think they still remember you? It's been six years after all. They do. Okay. Okay, I need to sneak. Sneaky sneak. A murderer walks the streets. Human or Shabnak, who knows? But our kids are outside too. Won't stay home no matter what we tell them. Why can't you just ground them? Everything's terrible. It all started with that awful tower. There's nothing we can do now. Kids do whatever they damn well please. Can't say anything to them. I mean that. Try and the words stick in your throat. They've become complete strangers to us. But what about common blood, I ask you? What about paternal love? What does this have to do with the tower? Hard to explain. The tower crushes us. Try to speak a word against it and it's as if an invisible blade slices your vocal cords. It did something to our kids, like they're crossing a river over thin ice and you can't follow, only call after them. Do you know who built it? The kinds, of course. Let the fires of hell take them. Who else? If only the Sabrovs ruled this town by themselves. It'd be such a nice place. Don't worry about the kids. They're smarter than us. I think I'm fading. <laughs> My clothes are worn out. Threadbare. Oh no. Um, so basically, <laughs> we just left for a couple hours after she told us to check upstairs. Oh my god, from her perspective, it must we must have just disappeared for a bit. Well, never mind that. <clears throat> so what was it? Some beggar, I think, broke into your house. She's babbling nonsense. Should I toss her out? Don't. If she's already here, let her be. Maybe she's hiding from the violent mob. I'll check on her later. Provide some care if needed. She could use that. If you tarry, you'll die unshriven. Things still look bad for you, Cobb, but I managed to help a little. What'd you do? They'll come to their senses soon. You know how mobs work. I explained to the right folks you had nothing to do with visitors' death. Women, mostly. They'll spread the news quick. Here in the flank, at least. In the chine, in backbone. You'll be safer. They'll come to their senses, but I'll forever be suspected of patricide. That's up to you, Cub. Is it? You were gone for six years? You're an outsider now, and you've come back on the wrong side. Maybe you didn't kill Isidore, but you killed someone, right? I didn't need to see the blood. Your butcher's eyes told me everything. That thousand yard stare. Thousand yard stare. It was kill or be killed. You'd rather see me dead? You'll have to start over, Cub. Although, maybe not entirely. The kin must be eager to see you. 
With this Zidur gone, someone has to take his place. Not just for your step people, but for us all. Thank you, Gravel. For everything. I think I've done all I can for today. Now all that remains is to wait until the coast is clear. Whoever it was, she won't bother Lara anymore. Clearly I'm her new target. He's so annoyed. The clinking of dice can be heard here. Huh. It's the guys we've seen before. Nyum. You are too quick, kind sir. You pace ahead of schedule like a man possessed. Let's see. The next event of consequence is set to come into your life. Tonight. Later. So what now? I guess I could get some sleep. Why sleep? So much to do, so little time. If you can find an hour or two to spare, then make the most of you can of precious time. For bitter fate demands that you prepare. Explore the town and fill your pockets, quick. Your time is short, and no one knows what tide tomorrow brings. Fair advice. But he has human feet. Okay, that's a little strange. You're quite the sleeper, human. I shouldn't have gone to bed at all. Exactly. You'll sleep your whole life away if you're not careful. Time and tide tarry for no man, remember? Quality proverb. This isn't life. While you dream, the town lives. Someone out there waits for you this very moment. Perhaps they wait in vain. Is my hint clear? Don't be surprised if you wake up and find every train has left the station. I'm not easily shaken, little critter. See, here I am, talking to you like all this is normal. without deeds fill a garden with naught but weeds someone's here from Olgimsky they want to talk to you don't worry there's no danger Olgimsky I wonder how he found out I was here hungry fish koshk Mm-hmm. Master says you're doing well. He said, with each hour, fewer and fewer people think he's the murderer, he said. Tell him that I want to talk. Let him come to the lump right away. What for? If he's summoning you, you must go. No dawdling, he said. I'll come by when I can. You tell him that. Is there anything I can leave here? My herbs? My tourniquet? All of this seems important though. Uh, no, I'll keep it with me. I've told him, but we can stop by a grocery. Or stop by a trading. Okay, you got this. Ah, so you are Burak's heir. I am. You're one of Olgimsky's men now, right? Big Vlad said anyone who touches you will be in for a world of hurt. <clears throat> no, I'm my own man. 
as is Olgimski. It's unwise to get in his way. Boss is a powerful patron. Don't let him down. I'll stay on my toes. Oh, what is this? What you looking at? Get lost. We got him first. Who is he? Don't you see? Borak the turncoat. Is it our son himself? Have you lost your mind? He has nothing to do with this. Oh, yes, he does. The whole town's saying he did it. Done what? You idiots. The bastard put his own dad six feet under. So what you looking at? Get lost or you're next. Pull it together, will you? Breathe. You're gonna pull a muscle. Wouldn't be able to deliver justice then. Yikes. Oh. Poor guy. Bandages. I'm stocking up on useful items. Boss. Boss, 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 boss. Oh, the girl is all right. But oh, the boy, the boy's unbearable. <laughs> wow, he's probably talking about his son. Yikes. And that familiar old face. You know, I remember what your esteemed father looked like when he was young. I am, after all, only 15 years younger. He was a very decent person. He had a real spine. Boss Vlad, I'm honored. Welcome home, my dear boy. Welcome home. The reception was rather uh, lukewarm, though, wasn't it? It was. I'm getting reports you're a villain, my boy. A murderous villain. My people are upset that they couldn't do you in. They're an ugly mob, aren't they? So small-minded. Animals. Beasts. Swine. At least you slipped away. Perhaps I should uh, stand up for you. That would be useful. Can you really? My power is immense, boy. Have you forgotten? Everything you see here is mine. The whole bull enterprise, the abattoir, the factory, the warehouses, the station. This town's veins are my reins, its meat and bones, my throne. I am the master, and I expect to be obeyed. I haven't forgotten both, believe me, and I'm not the only one who remembers. At least take my advice. I'm always eager to help his daughter's son. Stay here a while. Don't go out. My house is big. Plenty of space. If you need anything, just call the servants. Why should I do that? For your future's sake, my boy. What's the rush? Take a rest. You've suffered so much. And the rest of the town will have a rest from you. Thank you, boss. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Stop what running have I done Okay. To be punished with children like these. Oh my god, shut up, Vlad. Stop running around, my boy. No need for you to leave. I won't chain you up, but believe me, out there, you'll just make a mess. Where's my father? I need I need to see his body. Well he might have been put in the ground already. Your people never linger with the rites of death. They bury the deceased immediately, like a seed, yes? And if you take too long, a seed won't sprout. Where do they bury my people these days? In the new cemetery? There's no such thing as your people anymore. Yours. Ours. We're all just people. What's past is past, so we're all buried together. Your rites are still different, though. Your kind must be buried in the morning, yes? Yes. Listen, are you planning to avenge your father? Why do you ask? Kind is eager to condemn someone, Sabarov, to execute. 
I, however, I'll make sure we find the right person. Yes, the right one. This is my business, boss, not yours. You're probably off to a pub now to drink to your father's memory. The twirine poison flows wide in the broken heart. Stammet and runs a good business while I allow it. A pub? Um, I'll just go wherever the legs carry me. I'm done with most important stuff. The town hall is no longer looking for me. Father's funeral will take place tomorrow at dawn. I'll hardly have a chance to pay respects to him until then. I can drink to my father's memory in the broken heart. Money! Pharmacy... Maybe a grocery would be a good idea. Maybe over here, in the shady shop. What a face! A loser's face! Look who's talking. The rabble is out of control! At least they looked human before. Did you hear about the stabbings? There's people with knives out in the streets now, brother. Yeah, at first I didn't believe my own eyes. I mean, I'm quite an artist with the knife myself. But that's different. Everyone knows I obey no law. These people... There no, there's no wholesome fear left in them. Kniving is taboo around here. That's why I love this town. But you know the tricks of the trade, don't you? I can tell by your hands. I'm a surgeon. It's part of my job. You're a dangerous man. I'm a dangerous man too. We can reach an understanding if you behave yourself in my establishment. Do they think night conceals everything? I don't even care. If they come here, they'll regret it. He who lives by the knife, dies by the knife. Such people are outlaws. Killing them incurs no punishment, only gratitude. Judge Kine said so. Judge Kine? Do you mean old Georgie? That means it's serious. Drink with me. There's a gleam of goodness in your eyes, friend. Drink with me. Alright. Everyone says Twyrine heightens the senses, but I think that's only true of hearing. Vision. No, you won't see anything new. It is an absinthe. No smells, either. This place reeks of herbs as it is. Hearing, though... What about hearing? Just drink and you'll hear how the town sounds. You'll hear who's calling you and from where. You'll hear the murmur from afar. Perhaps from across the Gorkon, or perhaps from across the Styx itself. Drink to my health, friend. This is excellent Twyrine. There's no such thing as bad Twyrine. I can afford this kind of joy. So what do you do? I was once an architect. Now I'm just a shadow of an architect. Thanks for the drink, friend. My name is Peter. I am the rock upon which is built the stairway till tomorrow. Through the day when man lifts himself from the earth and overcomes its burden. I am that rock, and I have already built the first step on that of that stairway, for I am a true architect. And I am Artemy Burak. Let's drink to my father's memory, a good man. Drink, Burak. Drink your twirine. Listen to the world. Listen to the roll of the terrible earth. Listen to the ringing of the sky. Listen to the town opening for you. You'll find out where people wait for you, or whispering about you right now. It's been proven to work. I'll check. Hmm. 
Yep, this is more or less what being drunk feels like. Bountiful harvest? Huh? Oh, I thought you were an herbalist, here to sell herbs. Got it. You produce twire in here, then. We're not just interested in twire. Ash and Swish, Swivery and White Whip are all, of course, more rare. So, more expensive. Are herbs plentiful this year? Quite. The brides must have done a great job. And just in time, too. We've only got two weeks until September ends. We're now in the golden time of harvest. We need to stock up for the whole year ahead. How much do you pay? It's different every day. Depends on what we're currently brewing. Some herbs may cost triple sometimes. I see. Today the special offer is black twire. Alright. This is all blurry. Koshk! Egg. While things are still cheap, let's buy all we can get. <laughs> are you sick or something? Yes. <laughs> I am actually. And not art me. It's me, me. And on that note, I think we are going to end the episode. My throat's not doing great. It's gonna be a short one this time. So, bye!